There are many teen issues within this generation, but an issue many teens don't consider is the importance of our health. Right now, 60% of Americans are obese and overweight due to fast foods. They go to fast food restaurants because they are cheap, fast, and very accessible due to the many locations. If you notice, people in wealthy neighborhoods like Beverly Hills focus on the quality of their food and rarely have fast food restaurants. However, Long Beach is not as wealthy, so most of what we worry about is if we're going to have any food at all. Since it's cheap and easy to access, we don't care about what we're putting into our bodies. Here are some things other people had to say. Maybe once a week. Once or twice. Once or twice. Yeah. Yeah. Hardly ever. I don't. I don't. I don't deal with it. I would say about once a week. Um, about twice a week, probably. I would say. Uh, I don't know about thirty. I think so. I don't know. Um, a little bit, but not a lot. Yes, that's why I try to limit any fast food as possible. I was in the food industry for 25 years. I had my own processing plant. Yeah, that's why I try to work out from time to time, and I don't eat too much of it. But sometimes, you know, you gotta treat yourself. Well, I understand it can give you high cholesterol, um, leads to obesity, not to mention the sugar content, uh, which leads to diabetes. Right. Yeah, people eventually die uh, sooner than expected if they eat too much fast food because there's too much grease and fat in the fast food. It's kind of like looking at the difference from a grocery store to a liquor store. You could just go walk in and walk out. Like fast food, you just walk in, order the food, it gets cooked, and you just walk out. Or you could eat there. It's convenient. Yes, definitely. That's why I like the dollar menu at all the fast food restaurants. Cheap. Yes, fast food is really the cheap. It's like at every other corner of the store, like every other corner at blocks and healthy foods, like like real healthy food is really expensive to get. Well, my thing is, it can't possibly be real meat because it's cheap. You don't see any cows. You've never seen a cow. You don't see any cows, any farms, so where's the meat coming from? Who's feeding the people and what are you feeding them? Man, it's like, it's like, so, like, you ever saw how that meat get hard? Like, after they sit out and stuff, like, what is that stuff? Like, I have any meat I done cooked or leave out doesn't get hard like that. If anything, it gets old and stink, but what's up with this meat, though, for real? Where is it coming from? It's not soy meat, you know, so what is it, really? Living in Long Beach, our food choices are negatively affected by money and location. Considering that Long Beach is a low-income area, a lot of people depend on fast food as their food source. In contrast with people living in Beverly Hills, a high-income area, they have more money, allowing them to purchase healthier foods. By living in Long Beach, there are still healthier alternatives, such as farmer's markets. Well, we get it from the free ranch, so that you get the chickens out, there's no hormones. We don't cook it with fat. We cook it with the rotisserie, so it's cooked slowly, and all the chicken from the fat goes down to the potatoes, which gives it more flavor. They're picked um, at least once or twice a week during the month. Well, of course, it's the best thing to do is eat healthy. Here you know that they've been picked during the week. They haven't been refrigerated, or they haven't been uh, stored away, or they haven't been uh, processed through other hands or mishandled. So it's very local, and you get them fairly quickly. There's no fat, no cholesterol. It's only 16 calories in one piece. And you know, a lot of people could enjoy it because like, a lot of people care about like gluten-free and all that stuff. But it's all healthy and like it's really safe and we just wanted to show that like we could also do a healthy food and also like a you know like our society food also too and it just kind of show them like a difference in between those kind of stuff yeah thank you for watching our film hopefully, hopefully you'll, you'll make, make the switch, switch.